my YouTube, I also wanted to show you the combing I got, or the ironing I got on my uh, FL racer too. You can't see the lines at all. I mean, it is perfect. Here's the uh, S1. Gotta look at it from this side. But, uh, I mean, they're coming out crazy. This one I'm still working on tuning in. That's my Ender 3. Ender 3S1. Right there. It's the Super Racer. And Cubic Cobra. There's a new one I just got. It's pretty noisy though. For, for whatever reason, it bangs and clangs. And I went all over it and checked it all out, but it was still... Uh, Still makes quite a bit of noise. And uh, then here's this guy down here. This is printing a um, uh, crap. What did I call that? It's like a rack. You you put a put it on a wall and it all hooks in for like uh, your 3D printer spatulas, all your tools. Because I mean, if you look. I mean, look, that is all, that's all filament down there. That's all filament. And then I got parts mixed in. There's filament there. There's parts here. And there's parts over here. So I'm trying to uh, get it organized. Another little trick for you guys. If you guys don't have a little torch, there you go. Stringing right off. Hands down. One of the best. Alright, so now we just gotta get a uh I just gotta get a couple more printers and uh I think I'm gonna buy another one of these rack and add somewhere else. Maybe going up somewhere else, I'm not not exactly sure. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to clue you guys in, keep you guys, uh, updated. Here's my, uh, YouTube, uh, screen. Check that out. It's for my nozzles. If you guys need one, it's on there somewhere. They screw in all on top, and then you could, uh, let me show you. open it up and uh, I throw a lot of miscellaneous tips in there but yeah this thing is pretty cool um, yeah I mean did a lot of upgrades so far got the relocate and then I just made one of these to uh, keep the band out of my way uh, what else did we do to this thing oh here we got the uh, the uh, Aquanet bottle holder, and we got the gargoyle, multicolored gargoyle. Then I uh, back there, I got the clip. Now I really want to show you guys something special. This is what you all been waiting for. This thing is bad to the bone. There it all is. I just got to uh, install it on the uh, SR Racer. Also, since I'm showing you that, I might as well show you this as well. The Diamondback, the company. They sent me out uh, two diving back nozzles for uh, this SR racer. I mean, look at this thing. 
Okay, I'll take it out and I'll show you guys. And let me tell you something. I tried it. See the scratch on the glass? It's definitely a, definitely a diamond for sure. But uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys the tip. And I mean, that's it. Printing. Prints good. Hands down. Okay, so... Hold on, so let me put it in here, and I'm going to actually screw it in one of these upside down, so my big uh, mechanic hands don't get in the way. Okay, so, dang it, there it is. Um, can you tell the difference? Absolutely, hands down. There it is. I mean, look at it. It is made like you wouldn't believe. Um, they come with paperwork. Uh, the 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 problem is some people think they um you can't destroy them, which that is a. Uh, that's false. So if you're buying a diamond back nozzle thinking you're never gonna buy a nozzle again, well that's not the case. So here is uh here's how it comes, here's the box. There's the back. Now I'll open it for you guys, I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, so this comes in there, and that's what it says. Um, okay, now pop this out, and it gives you all these tips and uh, temperatures, and you can see. But uh, I think there's something else in there. I don't remember. No, that's it. Okay. So, now I showed you guys the diamond back and the OMG. Um, listen, I mean, I got the Volcano uh, diamond back. And um, I won't go back to a regular nozzle, hands down. So, uh, and on top of it, that I just, um, I'm going to start ironing everything that I print so I think that's the uh, ticket for that all right guys I uh, took up enough of your time I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop I uh, changed everything over so here we are please like subscribe we got giveaways coming up I got a bunch of crazy stuff going on let me know if you guys want to see anything printed. Alrighty. I'm out of here. Alright, YouTube, we are back. The hooks are done. This, we had a failed print on the S1. The gantry's still not uh, level. I'm still working on that. Super Racer. Tool holder. A, well, changeable tool holder came out perfect. Look at that. And the uh, gantry level came out pretty good. A little stringy. Just a new printer. I got to uh, get it tuned up. And this other wall mount holder's coming out good. Alright, guys. That's where we're at so far. Like. Comment. Please. Subscribe. We'll keep you guys uh, up to date. Thanks. There you go, YouTube. Check them out at night when you come up close. Tip. Boom. They got sensors on them. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. 
check it out. Boom. Got some down there. Some lights. Still gotta get some more, but oh. Those are those are done a little stringy, but they're done. We'll get those a little later. Shut her down. But, uh, yeah, it's coming out good. I got all my uh, power supplies running in the back. Uh, I just got to uh, get a couple other things in. Then we'll be good to go. What do you guys think? Should I add on to it? I was thinking about going this way. Let me know what you think. And, uh... Like, subscribe, I'll keep going, I don't mind. Alright guys, I will be back.